It's the Andy and Dave Daily right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. That's Dave Cackley. He's farting around with something over there. What are you What are you touching? Well, I, I was just adjusting the volume. Oh, yeah. You got to touch your buttons, don't you? Yes. I, sometimes I got to touch my own buttons. We got a little uh, volume thing going on over there, so yeah. Dave has to uh, adjust his volume down a little yes. bit. Yes. On his uh, headphone apparatus. That's an apparatus, other, by the way. It's an yeah. Okay. Thanks. So we tried this that. once, and we ran into a little technical in, 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 in you know, uh, what was it? What do we call it? a little dropout? Uh, a snafu. A snafu. I call it a snafu. So let's, yeah. let's just cut right to the chase. Let's Get have right you into jump the news. into news. All right. And I'm then you can skip feel the free whole to comment. Where I, did, where I showed you my new toothbrush teeth. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's great. Still very nice and white, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. Congratulations. Get into the news. Once again. I'll uh, right. lick my teeth because they're all nice and clean. All right, sounds good. Mm-hmm. President Trump is expected to urge China to cut its financial links to Pyongyang and expel North Korean workers from its country during his two-day stop. The president arrived in Beijing today after two days in South Korea. Trump called on every nation, including Russia and China, to fully implement recent U.N. resolutions against the rogue nation. Who knows if that's going to work? You know, this is two countries we don't really trust in China and Russia to enforce resolutions I, on a country we really don't trust in North Korea. So, And I'm sorry, but well, I just don't think that this president carries the clout to ask that kind of favor of anybody. I think yeah. it has to do – it doesn't matter. It, 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 I'm just going to move like on. I'd like you to please uh, enforce these resolutions. Yeah, okay, Don, thanks. Here's, here's what I'll say about Come back Trump. To America. you got some golf to do. Here's what, I say, here's what I'll say about Trump. Right. When he's on prompter and on message, because I, I heard the, the thing he said uh, the other day when he was in South Korea, he's good on prompter when he's you know measured and he's got you know so, he's got so the when words somebody out else there is writing out. for him and talking for him, yeah. he's good. Yeah, the same this the yeah, the same thing with President Obama. Somebody was writing for him, and he was great on prompter. <laughs> Trump's problem is when he gets off. And just kind of does, does the stream of consciousness stuff that either doesn't make sense or is just borderline insane. Mm-hmm. So when he stays on message, when he stays measured, he's fine. When he gets off into into Trump one. speak, it gets <laughs> it gets a little dicey. Okay. Anyway, uh, sad news out of Major League Baseball: two-time Cy Young Award-winning pitcher Roy Halladay died in a tragic plane crash mm. off the Florida coast. The 40-year-old was the only person on the two-seat plane that was found upside down in very shallow water just north of Tampa Bay. Halliday was an eight-time All-Star and won more than 200 games in his wow. Major League career. He was evidently, I mean, he just purchased this plane recently. Evidently, he was, you know, really happy. He sent all these, you know, tweet, yeah. tweeted pictures about it and uh, very sad. That's awful. Oh, what else is happening? Federal agents arrested 18 people in Coopersville Tuesday for being in the country illegally. 13 Guatemalan nationalists and five Mexican nationals were taken into custody by Homeland Security. They were all between the ages of 20 and 43. Now, evidently, six of these were previously deported, so they face federal charges mm-hmm. for reentering the country illegally. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things... If I were in one of these countries, if I were in Guatemala, if I were in Mexico, and I, I would do whatever I had to to get to the United it. States. I would do it. Huh? I'd risk it. Right. Uh, so I can't blame them. At the same time, you know, we've got laws that we've got to follow. Let me it's, ask you this: sad. Go Have ahead. you ever been to Guatemala? No, never. Okay, so you don't know how bad it might be. It might be nice. Uh, I'm betting if you are. Fleeing your country is probably not nice. It's why people drown leaving Cuba. It's why people leave Mexico. Mexico is, in general, not nice. Okay. In general. I'm just saying, I'm sure there are some nice areas of the country, too, but we wouldn't have this flood of illegal immigration if things were great in Mexico or great in Guatemala. Just checking. People are like, oh, yeah, the Guatemala is awesome. Let's yeah. stay here. I'm not saying some may feel that way. They might. But we wouldn't have this issue. Okay. If that were the case. All right, just checking. What else is going on? Uh, to say the road repair millage in Muskegon County passed by a slim margin would be a colossal understatement. Just seven votes separated the yes from the no votes 
Uh, this will allow funding, though, for road construction and improvements on more than 50 township roads over the next five years. A similar measure was rejected last May. Yep. Uh, the measure to restructure youth family criminal justice programs went down 67 to 31. I think you and I were both probably in agreement on this, that, that only one of these was going to pass, and it was probably going to be the road millage. Well, and I'm sorry, I, and, I, and I believe this, and I will continue to believe this, and I'm going to continue to fight for it. I, I think... What was asked for in that youth youth millage is desperately needed here. I, I think okay. the idea of having to take a kid that gets in trouble and kick him out of town to go, you know, quote unquote, get it fixed, it is irresponsible of us. I think it's it's. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I, I think we need to to circle the wagons and fix our own stuff. I, th- I think Muskegon needs to embrace what's wrong. I think we need to address the problems on a holistic level, and the idea of sending some kid out to Pennsylvania to get things addressed and bringing them back into the same mayhem that they left is is just a practice in insanity. I think we need more stability. I think we need uh, a better foundation built underneath these young people that do get in trouble. And I'm 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 truly sorry that it failed. I really am. Oh. It's it's one of those things where you you were these were two tax increases. It's hard to get two I know. millages the, the like one that. Muskegon path. Township, so it wasn't going to be all of right. All of Muskegon, That's true. you know what I mean? It, it, and, this is Muskegon County that we're talking about here, and this is all of us. And right, you know, there was the sentiment out there that a I'm not going to pay to fix fix other people's kids' problems, and b yep. you know uh, it's some bait and switch and all this other kind of stuff. Let me tell you something, man. You know, for everybody that was out there saying that this is some bait and switch to pay for the jail and all that other stuff, that jail's getting paid for. Period. Okay? Right. The money's coming from somewhere, and if it didn't get replaced with this, you, you know, what, however, however, I don't know, you know, I don't know how the numbers work and all that other kind of stuff, but if the the money didn't come from somewhere, these programs are all going to, and, and you know what, we're going to continue doing the same stupid stuff we've been doing. And we we got to turn into the skid. We got to we got to grab the bull by the horns, and we got to fix our we got to fix our own stuff. You we got to have what we need here. You also have to keep in mind it, there was only a fourteen percent voter turnout. Yeah, as well. So it's 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 hard to say where everybody in the area really what they really feel about this. Is is that something you you get on the ballot next year, twenty eighteen, when there's there's a lot you, more stuff. I told you what um, I what I believe, and that is we need a better foundation. We need to be able to fix our own problems, and we need to to stop this insane practice of sending them out, bringing them back, and expecting different results. It's getting us nowhere. Well said. All right, in sports, uh, the college football playoff poll was released. Georgia remains at number one. Alabama's two. Notre Dame's three. Clemson is four. Uh, Michigan State jumped up to 12th. There are some people who think, oh, maybe Michigan State's got an outside. Sh-. They, they're not getting into the college football playoff. They're no, not one of the four Michigan best teams. State it's not going to happen. Michigan, Michigan by the way, hand. Michigan Doesn't not Michigan even in the poll. Michigan just get the automatic pass because they're Michigan? Michigan not even in the poll. Oh, come on. They, are not even, they didn't even make the poll. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so Michigan State fans enjoy a chance at a Big Ten championship, enjoy a chance at a possible Rose Bowl. You're not going to the playoff, and you don't want to go to the playoff because everybody's just going to get dump trucked by Alabama. So just keep that in mind. Now you, speaking of sports, are heading to the uh, the Lumberjacks game. Lumberjacks taking on Central Illinois. It's a special 10.30 a.m. face-off yes. education day. What's going on there? Uh, there will be 3,000 screaming kids. Every one of them are going to buy one of those stupid horns that you can blow because uh, it's the cheapest souvenir that you can get. And yeah. the, I'm, I'm here to tell you what right now. Um, there will be many aspirins consumed. Of course. Among the adults that are there. You know, this has got to be good, though, for the Lumberjacks because as much as you probably your body is probably not used to playing hockey at 1030 a.m., it's you know it's a good it's experience a huge for the crowd. kids. It's it's it, you know like when we were in school, you go to the fifth grade symphony thing. Yeah. Yep. It you got to get kids out and do this kind of stuff. You right. Gotta take them to a sporting event. You got to take them to a symphony. You got to you got to you got to expose them to diff, different things. And I think the education day game is a great one. It's uh you know for me having to, and and everybody having to gear things up and be ready to go by ten thirty in the morning. Eee, okay, but 
You do it because it's cool. community, and that's what you do. I would have, I would have loved that in elementary school. Oh yeah, yeah would great to go to a go to a hockey game. That'd been fantastic. It's but, fun. So have fun with that we'll and that sport. And uh, by the way, yep, U of M rules. <laughs>